Now arriving, Kylon Station, Central Transit Hub. Looks clear, far as I can tell. Let's have a look around, see what we can find. Welcome, welcome to Cairo Station. Today's date is 24 April 2537. Right. Well, at least the big holographic tree still works. Indeed. It's possible the power grid is more stable in this area. All the routes are inaccessible. Seems we were lucky that we managed to get the Hab A tram functioning. What is this? A monument. A memorial. Dedicated to all those we have lost. Devoted to all those we have yet to save. Chiron Station. Dedicated. 10th of March, 2522. Lux Hominum Vita. Light of the life of mankind. The rate of decline in these O2 stats appears to confirm the issue is indeed power related, rather than a problem with the environmental system itself. That may indicate there are more hospitable conditions elsewhere on the station. At least that would be my hope. Right there with you. Warning. Environmental systems compromised. Atmosphere suboptimal. Still no life support. We still have time. We'll find a stable environment. Don't worry. Who's worried? Curious. What'd you find? A scrap of fuselage from the Kronos 2. Are you sure? The markings are unmistakable. It's been preserved in a glass display. Awful lot of ceremony for a 400-year-old hunk of debris. No harm in a second, though. Transportation to Habitat B is currently unavailable. In case of an emergency, contact the station's directory. Not been touched in ages. This is a dead end. Let's keep looking. I'm going up. Tell me what that looks like to you. It's an old Atlas vessel. Pioneer class. What the hell? What's a ship from our time doing here? I brought it here. Do you know? Hello, Captain Rhodes. Jack. I'm glad to see you're still safe. Do you know? Are you saying this is your ship? That's a complicated question. The ship is my home, but it doesn't belong to me. Then who does it belong to? I'm afraid I'm not permitted to disclose that information. Imagine my shock. I am sorry, Captain Rhodes. I would tell you if I could, but my directives... What about life support? Does the ship still have atmosphere? The ship is currently suffering the same power disruptions as the station. However, if one were to cycle the ship's reactor... Then we'd have life support. In theory. How do we get on board? The docking platform is in the next sector, through the security checkpoint. I can show you the way. Hold on. You're not allowed to tell us anything about the ship itself, but helping us get on board, that's no problem. 
My primary directive is to keep you alive, and the best way to do that is to get you on board the ship. The door is sealed. I will need a moment to bypass the security constraints. So, you're really not part of the station? I am what's known as a transient program, capable of gaining limited access to a variety of different networks. But I consider the ship to be my true home. There we are. Never thought I'd see an Atlas ship out the window again. Do you think it's safe, following Juno to that ship? There's clearly a lot more she has yet to tell us. Yeah, but not by choice. Somebody's pulling her strings. And I'll bet whoever it is, they're on that ship. Your home is a bit... antiquated. Apart from a few rare exceptions, most spacefaring vessels currently in use are actually just refits of older, well-tested models. And I don't appreciate your tone. I... didn't realize I had a tone. Looks like we've got another door on the blink. Let's get a closer look. Can you see anything? What is that? That is a deep. Two, actually. There is another one in here as well, beating on the door. I'm sorry, you say that like I'm supposed to know what it means? Ugh. Ticks are an evolved form of the biomass. What is it doing? Ticks instinctually seek out the nearest viable energy source, which, in this case, happens to be the captain. Hmm, lovely. I wouldn't worry yourself, Captain. I'm reasonably certain it can't break through the glass. All right, so now what do we do? The only way we can proceed is by removing those ticks. Well, let's have a look around then. There's got to be some way to get rid of these things. something. Keep looking. Bugger off, you nasty little... There isn't any way to get this door open. So long as that take is reaching its power, the door is inoperable. You see anything that might help? What about that disposal unit? That might work. You'll just need to find a way to get them into the chute. It will be dangerous, but I don't see any other option. You'll need to clear the area before boarding the ship. How the hell are we supposed to clear the room if we can't even get inside? According to the station's schematics, there should be another way to access the security checkpoint through the loading bay. It's just this way. It seems likely this form of biothreat is closely related to the spore variant we are more familiar with. It's amazing that despite all the odds, they somehow got uglier. It's awfully dark in there. Are you sure it's safe? Not as sure as I'd like to be. I'll try to scan the area ahead for potential threats. Stand by. No use. Can't see a thing. Jack, mind using your headlamp to throw some light in there. I'm seeing a considerable biomass presence on the other side. Shit. Captain Rhodes. We know, Juno. We saw it. I'm afraid this means you'll have to stay behind. Uh, what? Jack and I will continue through the loading bay. Once we clear the docking terminal... No, absolutely not. 
I'm sorry, Captain, but I cannot allow you to proceed. The risk is far too great. Well, if it's too risky for me, it's too risky for Jack. It's all right, Liv. I'll be careful. Jack, no. We've been over this. Listen, I know you're used to thinking of yourself as... invincible, but you're not. Not anymore. If you go in there with only one shell and something happens, you could... Actually, Captain, I think there may be a way for Jack to avoid that possibility. Yeah, you can avoid it by not going. As I was scanning the loading bay, I detected a working fabricator in the adjacent section. If Jack and I can get it powered on, we should be able to use it to scan his architecture into the station's database. So... You're saying he'd be able to reboot again? Exactly. <sighs> Don't worry, Liv. I can handle this. I promise, Captain. I won't let Jack do anything that might put him in jeopardy. <sighs> Alright. Alright. If we're gonna do this, let's do it. Just watch yourself in there, okay? I'll be waiting back at the security entrance. Understood. I'll see you on the other side. Uh, let's maybe mind our phrasing, yeah? Oh, I didn't mean... It's all right. I know what you meant. Good luck. Popcorn. I'll unlock the door for you. Stand by. Ready when you are. Jack, up here. The emergency power switch is in this control room. How do I get inside? You'll need to go through the maintenance ducts. There should be an access way nearby. You're sure all the biomass in this sector is dormant? As sure as it can be. Of course, that will change once we get emergency power back online. But by then he'll be able to reboot, right? It will take a minute or two to get Jack scanned into the system, but that is more or less correct. There you are. This override switch will restore emergency power to the local grid. Whoa, what was that? Emergency power has been restored. The door to the loading bay is unlocked. What about the fabricator? Online and ready to scan. Jack. If you'll follow me. Just climb inside and we'll begin. This will only take a few moments. New template created. Echo unit series 11. Initializing fixed topographic scan. Mapping target composition. Replicating internal functionality. Linking neural matrix to network. Scan complete. Did it work? 
Scan output shows no errors. Neural connection is green. Yes, it worked. You're sure? From this point forward, if Jack's shell becomes damaged or destroyed, he will automatically reprint at the nearest working fabricator. Well, Jack? How do you feel? More or less the same. That's it? The scan procedure wasn't particularly invasive. My cortical functions remain largely unaltered, apart from having my reboot ability restored, of course. Right. Just that one tiny little life-saving detail. It's unfortunate that fabricators are incapable of replicating organic matter. Otherwise, Captain, we'd be able to scan you into the system as well. Right. Well, the important thing is, Jack's back to normal. We're all done here. Jack, I've reopened the access hatch. Make your way back through the maintenance duct. I'll be waiting for you by the entrance to the loading bay. On my way. Be careful. Restoring emergency power has awakened the biomass, so unless you're planning to test your new reboot ability, I would avoid all contact. Understood. It's clear you've had extensive experience with the biomass. More than enough, yes. Now then, this corridor will take us through the loading bay and back around.